how to make a membership website using WordPress. Easy tutorial. Hi guys, welcome back. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make a membership website using WordPress. So let's get started. First, what you guys need to do is you can open up your WordPress website that you're creating. You just need to, you know, get started with a simple website. You can select the simplest theme. Then I'll show you how to actually add a membership form into it, how to create a membership website that offers memberships to the customers and visitors. So let's actually get started with the process. It's really easy. Once you have selected a theme for a website, you have the simplest website, you will get your own dashboard. So in your dashboard, you will find plugins and you need to go to the plugins right here and then select add new. It will take you to add plugins. You can see now I will add a plugin for the memberships. So you need to search right here in the search bar and we're going to search for membership. Okay, so there you go. We have a lot of plugins available, but this is the one that we want to go for. Ultimate member, user profile, user registration, login, and membership plugin. This is the plugin that we will be using in order to create a membership a form on our website and people will be able to buy membership on our website that we are creating. You can see it has more than 200,000 active installations. It is compatible with my WordPress version. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on install now. It will take a second to install. Once it's done, you're going to click on activate. Once the plugin is activated, it will be added and you will be able to find it right here. You can see ultimate member. This is our plugin that we added and we're going to go to the dashboard. You can find dashboard settings and forms. What we're going to do is we're going to click on forms and it will take you right here. It will show you the forms that you already have and some of the default forms that are created with ultimate member. We have a default registration form, a login form and profile. So what I will be doing is I will be creating a membership form. So for that, I'm going to click on add new. Now we can create a form. So it is going to be a membership form or a registration form with a paid membership. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a name. Let's call it a test membership form. Okay, so this is going to be our form. You have to select the type if it's going to be a registration form, profile form or login form. So I'm going with registration. Now this is our form builder and you can see it's empty. We have to enter uh, different fields into it. So first of all, we have to select the layout. If you want it to be single, if you want it to be like two columns or three columns. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the first one. Then what you're going to do is you're going to click on this plus right here. And now it will show you all of the different fields that are available. You can see we have fields manager, set up new field or predefined uh, fields. So the first field that I want to go for is going to be name. So I am going with first name. Let's add another one, which is going to be the last name. So I want my users to add first name, last name. Then I want them to select their country. Let's go with another one, their email address. Then we have different fields such as password, number, drop down, multi-select, check box, Skype ID, LinkedIn, Facebook, and others. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with the password. They're going to set up their password as well. And now you can see, so this is going to be for the password and I'm going to go ahead and add it right here. Here, what we can do is we can select different criteria for the password that it should have a maximum length or a maximum or the minimum length like that. And you will enter it. Then you're going to click on plus right here. And what you're going to do is you're going to select their number or what you can do is you can enter a payment method here. Once you do that, what will happen then is that this form will be converted into a membership form. So right here, you can see if you do not want to go for a paid membership, then it's OK. You can go with the free one as well. So what I'm going to do is for now, I'm going to go with the free one. Uh, so they have to enter their first name, last name, country, email address. And for the country, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a drop down again. So in order to create a drop down, what we can do is we can enter the title. Then we have to enter a meta key, help text, default value, added choices, labels, placeholders, privacy. You will enter these details and you will enter a drop down. 
Again, you can change the layout too, and we can actually have more than one form in order to in for a registration. So if you want to go with different sections and if you want to add more than one section to your form then you can do that but i do not want to complicate you know process for my users and they can just uh, become a member of my website by entering their first name last name country and email address now once you select any of the fields for example i have selected country here now i'm going to click on the pencil right here which says edit and it'll show me all of the edit choices like these are the countries available and what i can do is i can select uh, the countries this is a drop down then I can add more than these countries as well it actually has all of the countries uh, right here given so I don't need to add any country here uh, and we can just click on update then we have email address click on edit right here and you can edit a field you can edit the title for example it says email address instead of email address I can just enter your your email address or type in your email you can write whatever title you want to go for then you will have your label, you have your privacy, you have a maximum length and help text. Again, these are going to be the settings for each of the field. Once it's added, once you think it looks good, you can move on to this section right here, which is the create option where we will find delete and create. We have a short code. So this is going to be the short code for the form that you have created. Customize this form. And if you want to apply custom settings to this form, you're going to click on yes or no. And then we have privacy policy. Once your form is done, what you're going to do is we can get a live preview. So I'm going to click on live preview and it'll show me uh, what my form looks like. There you go. This is what my form looks like. You can see it's a registration form, a membership form. Uh, so it is first name, last name, country and email address. In country, we have our drop down and we have email address. So we have registration and login option. This is how people create their registration form when you are signing up for a website. And we can also create a responsive membership form, registration form with our plugin Ultimate Member on WordPress. It's a free plugin that you can install and then you can get started. You can also create profile forms and login forms uh, with this plugin right here. Once you have added, then you will have a membership website and you will get your visitors to sign up and add a membership. So yeah, guys, this brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was a big help to you. And now you know everything that you wanted to know. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if this tutorial was a big help to you i tried to do everything about the topic and i hope that you understood everything and now you are good to go and don't forget to uh, share this video with your friends and family members so they can also get the information they want to also you can subscribe to the youtube channel the button will be given right down below go ahead and subscribe to the youtube channel also hit the notification bell so every time you get notified when we post a video so yeah also leave a comment down below what was your favorite part and what did you learn from this video or if you have any question